Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter while using NewMake. Our viewer asks, why doesn't NewMake recompile when the header file hdr.h changes? Let's set the stage. Our viewer has a project with a header file named hdr.h and a source file main.c. Despite changes made to hdr.h, NewMake seems to skip recompiling main.c. This can be frustrating, especially when you're expecting your changes to take effect. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. The issue you're facing with GNUMATE not recompiling when the header file changes is likely due to how dependencies are managed in your make file. Let's take a look at your make file. You have a rule to generate dependency files with the pattern sent D, which is good. However, the dependency file for main.c, named main.d, is not being found. When you run the make command, it tries to include the dependency files. If main.d is missing, it won't know that hdr.h has changed, leading to no recompilation. To fix this, ensure that the dependency files are generated correctly. You can run the make command with the clean target first to remove any old files, then run make again to regenerate everything. Finally, check that your header file hdr.h is included correctly in your source files. This ensures that any changes to hdr.h will trigger recompilation of main.c. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To ensure new make recompiles when header files change, you can modify your make file. Simply list all your header files and add them as dependencies for your object files. This method may not be the most efficient, but it works well enough for many projects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ensure new make recompiles when a header file changes, you need to regenerate the dependency file during compilation. Instead of having a separate target for dependency files, you can integrate it into the object file rule. This method ensures that the dependency file is only regenerated if the compilation is successful. If the compilation fails, the object file is deleted, forcing a recompilation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue with GNUMake not recompiling when a header file changes is due to an incorrect makefile setup. The original rule didn't include the necessary dependency for the .d files. The correct rule adds the .d dependency, ensuring that changes in header files trigger recompilation.
the dependency chain shows how files are connected. If .d files are not linked to O files, changes in headers won't trigger recompilation. After correcting the make file, you might see error messages about missing .d files, but this is not fatal. The system will try to find rules to create them. To confirm that the rules are present, you can add a command to list files during the object file creation process. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If new make isn't recompiling after a header file change, try running make clean before your build. This should resolve the issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ensure GNU make recompiles when a header file changes, you can modify the build rule for dependency files. Use a pattern rule that generates .d files from .c files. If your version of make is outdated and doesn't automatically rebuild, you can create a target for dependencies. This will help include .d files in the build process. Alternatively, you can add a dependency to your object files, ensuring they depend on both .c and .d files. However, remember that you may need to run make twice to see the changes. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya. Wow, 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 wow.